All right, Melt Studio just dropped vertical streaming, and I figured what a better way to show you how it works than to set it up and go live vertically for the first time right here with you. First, open up Meld Studio. If you haven't updated to the vertical canvas, Meld will do that for you automatically when you open it. Then, just follow the prompts. What we're gonna do, we're gonna enable multi-canvas, and then we'll just follow the prompts here on the right. Welcome to your vertical canvas. Now you have both main and vertical canvases per scene, making it easy to create content in any format. Set it up once, use it everywhere. Add custom layers, copy from your main canvas, choose a template, or reuse vertical layouts across scenes, all with a simple setup. Done. What's really cool is Meld Studio lets us quick start with a scene template. We have gaming and we have chat. Well, we're gonna go with gaming today, so let's just click on that. Video device. Select the device to start capturing. Well, let's use the Camlink 4K to get us our Sony ZV-E10. Now we'll select a device to start capturing, which will be my capture card. Oh, nice. And we'll have a game up there soon. So we'll cut that all up and get it all looking right. And you, you'll understand what I'm saying in just a second. But for now, we're going to reposition it, make it larger to fit. And I love that Meld has these guidelines and automatic snapping. Look at that. That's That's perfect. Perfect. Love it. All right. Now we've got a tall canvas, 1080 by 1920. Perfect for TikTok, YouTube shorts, and all those vertical vibes. What I want to do now is just I want to add the alerts. Everything still works the same. We just have to reposition it for the vertical layout. So I'm just going to click on layers. We're going to go to widget and we're going to add the spotlight widget. And it'll, it appears automatically in the top left, but we'll just reposition it here right in the middle that looks kind of wonky let's redo that pull it from the corner there we go oh hell that'll work that'll work just for demonstration purposes here it's a little tiny but it's there honestly this is stupid simple mel didn't just add vertical streaming they made it actually easy to use now just go to your output settings here on the right pick where you're going live TikTok, youtube wherever and hit that big go live button. But I don't have vertical streaming set up yet. So let's do that right now. To get started vertical streaming, we're going to have to come here to YouTube Studio. We're going to go where it says stream key. It says default stream key, but we need our vertical stream keys. We're gonna click the drop down arrow and choose YouTube vertical. And now I'm just going to copy my stream key. Do not let anybody see that. And we're going to paste it into Melt Studio. Okay, we're just going to click the plus button to add our stream key so we can stream vertically. Select YouTube, paste in our stream key, log in. Okay, I guess we have to log in. And there we go. I want to go live on YouTube Shorts, so let's set that up. Next, we want to take our UI, which is spread out in our horizontal format, and copy, crop, and paste it onto our vertical canvas so our viewers can see everything like our health, our loadout, kills, all that. So to do that, we're gonna start copying and pasting our gameplay footage, which is coming from my capture card, which I've already copied it once. So I want my my loadout, I want uh, my kill count, storm timer, and mats. So I need to copy it three times. So we have one copy, let's do two more. Come over here, copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay. So what I'm going to do, start with the second one here, because this one, this one's our main gameplay footage. I'm going to take this one and start cropping it here. So it helps if we hide all the ones except for the one we're using. Okay, duplicate. We'll just do one at a time. That'll make it easy. I had to come into a custom game because the storm kept getting me. Uh, okay, just hit the crop button here and then we're gonna move it down to where, there we go. All right, taking a little bit of finagling to get it right, but we'll get it. It's one hour later. Okay, third time's a charm on this. What's gonna help us is if we lock the layer. Now we'll duplicate it. We'll unlock the one we wanna work with. So we're gonna, now we're gonna crop our loadout. 
We're just repositioning things and cropping them to where we want them. And repositioning them on the vertical canvas. Okay, there we go. We got that. So we'll unhide our main footage. Don't forget to put the layer you just did over top of your main gameplay footage or you won't be able to see it. Watch. You've seen it pop up right there. All right, let's duplicate it again and get our health. Okay, again, we're going to put it on top. Move it to where we want it, where we can work with it easier. Hit the old cropity crop button. And don't forget to click done when you finish cropping, because uh, otherwise that'll mess you up and you'll be like, well, why can't I move it where I want? That's, uh, well, that's what you have to do. Click done. Okay, we have our health. We have our loadout. Now let's get our storm clock and kill counter. Sheesh. <laughs> Good idea is to rename everything too so you know what you're looking at and what you're working with. Storm and kills. There we go. Don't forget to click done. We can move it where we want. Put that one above the webcam too. Resize it a little bit. Not too shabby. Better than what it was. I will be going live vertically soon, so stay tuned for that. If it blows up, we'll learn together. If it works, you're welcome. If this video helped, definitely give it a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see from a Meld Studio tutorial next. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace.